In 2023, fewer students are going to be getting the top grades in their GCSE and A-level exams, and in this video, I'm going to explain why that is. Now, as a teacher, I know how important your exam grades are to you, and in this video, I'm going to explain a little bit more about how the grades are going to be awarded and how that's different to last year. Now, this is all based on information provided by Ofqual, and they're the body who are responsible for awarding all of the GCSE and A-level results in England. And they actually produce some resources for students. There's a link below where you can download the full document, but they also have this rather handy two-page summary. Now, something on the second page caught my eye, and it basically says that your work will be marked and graded in the normal way this year, as it would have been before the pandemic. Now, that sentence actually means quite a lot. And to really understand what it means, let's have a look at what happened last year. So looking at maybe the A-level results for all the students in England, in 2022, about 15% of the students were awarded an A-star. And that's across all of the different A-levels. And then about 21% of the students were awarded an A grade. And then we had 26% of the students awarded a B, a C, a D, an E, and so on. So this is kind of how the grades were broken down last year. But before the pandemic, so this is 2019 and before that, the results look very different. And actually, if we think about what the average results were like, it tended to be that only about 8% of the students would be awarded an A star. In terms of the A grade, that was about 18% of the students. And then as we kind of go through all of the different grades, it's quite clear to see that before the pandemic, fewer students were being awarded the top grades. In actual fact, Ofqual have this really nice interactive thing where you can look at all of the data. And we can see just by looking at this, in 2017, about 8.5% of students got an A star. In 2018, it was 8.2, 2019, 7.8, and then 2020 happened and everything completely changed. So let's have a look at how grades have changed over time. Now for this, I'm going to be using A-level, but it's a similar pattern with GCSE as well. So let's look at how we go from an A star down to a U. Now in 2019, approximately 8% of students were getting these higher grades, these A star grades. And as we look at the other data, so it looked a bit like this, fairly consistently year after year, with about 2% of students maybe failing to get the marks required to pass the A-level and get the E-grade. Now, of course, in 2020, everything changed. And then it was down to the teachers to actually decide which grade their students should have got. So in 2020, the grades inflated a bit like this. So now rather than 8% of students getting the A-star, it was decided that 14% would. And this is based on what the teachers thought their students could achieve on a good day. Now, I do not blame the teachers. If I was a teacher and I knew that I had a student who was maybe an A or an A-star grade student, I'd probably award them an A-star. Now, of course, it says here that 0% got a U. In actual fact, 0.2% of students were still ungraded. And as we went into 2021, and you can see how much these grades have continued to inflate. Now that couldn't continue and they couldn't stay at this level. So what's happening now in 2023 and beyond is that the grades are going to go back to how they were in about 2019 before the pandemic hit. And that means roughly 8% of students are going to be awarded an A-star across all subjects, 18% for an A, 26% of students are going to get a B and so on. Now this doesn't necessarily mean that the exams are going to be easier or harder. In actual fact, every year, the grade boundaries do kind of change very slightly. Sometimes you have an easier paper, in which case you need to get more marks to get the top grade. Sometimes it's a really, really difficult paper. You come out of the exam feeling a little bit disappointed, but actually you then still might get a high grade because if everybody did bad, badly, they're going to lower the grade boundaries. So you need a less of a percentage to get those higher marks. But effectively, what's going to be happening is, is that we're not going to get this grade inflation and going forward, there's going to be roughly this proportion of students getting these grades at A-level and then something similar for GCSE. So in summary, point number one, fewer top grades are going to be awarded this year compared to last year and a couple of years before that. And point number two is that the grades awarded are going to be in line with the pre-pandemic statistics. So looking at the data from 2019 and before that. But as a teacher, I would say do not get too hung up on the grades. Instead, think about the marks that are being awarded. And you can really concentrate on that by doing two things. 
First of all, thinking about the content that you're learning and making sure that you're revising that thoroughly and also putting that into practice with as many practice papers as possible and that allows you to practice and hone your exam technique so you can get all of the marks available in those papers. The more marks you get, the higher chance you've got of getting one of those top grades. Oh, and finally, thank you so much to Learning Glass who've provided the light board that I've been using in this video. If you'd like to find out more about this piece of technology, just have a look at the link in the description below.